Hello and welcome back to linuxstudyguide.com videos. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to interact with the graphical user interface of Fedora. Okay, so when you load Fedora, this is the screen you'll see. Up at the top right you'll have your user information. I'm logged in as Ashley right now. But you can uh, switch user, log out, um, anything you'd like to do. Here is your network settings. Uh, your sound settings, and also your display settings. Okay, and in the middle you have your clock, and if you want to change that, you left click on it, and go down to date and time settings. Left click on that, and it will show you um, your time, and you can change it to a.m. p.m. if you like. Right? We'll just leave it as a 24 hour for right now. Now to get out of this, you can either click on the little X up at the top right, or you can click System Settings and hit Quit. And also Alt F4 works on Fedora as well. Okay, and on your left we have the activities. Go ahead and left click on that, and this screen will pop up. You, you have your favorites on your left hand side, your windows, your applications, and your search bar. And this shows you what um, screens you have open. So right now we only have the main screen open right now. Okay, so let's say we want to open a web browser. Click on Firefox. And wait for it to load. And it'll just take a second and there it is. So you can take and let's say we want to go to Facebook and it'll pop up right there. Click on that and there you go, there's your Facebook. Okay, so then we can exit out of this, like I said, by the little X here, uh, going up to Firefox and hitting quit. Or let's say you want to leave your Facebook page open but you want to go back to your main screen. What you can do is hit activities, left click on that, and it will show you, um, I'll take you back to this page and it will show you that you have your Facebook page open and also your main screen is open as well. Okay, so let's say you want to, let's say, open up your contacts page and it will show you this and let's say you want to uh, go back to your Facebook page, click on activities and it will show you what you have open right now. So right now we have our Facebook page open and our contacts a file is open. Okay, so let's say you want to go back to your main desktop page and let's say you want to open your pictures. You can left click on this or you can also just take and left click on it and drag it and it will open it up. Now on your left hand side um, the, the main screen with the little fireworks going on there that will always be open. So no matter how many pages you open up here you'll always have a blank screen down here which is nice so you can always go back there. Okay and, um, and this is your uh, pictures. We don't have any pictures in this right now, but and what I'm doing to make it bigger is just scrolling with my mouse, and you can make it as big as you want, and then uh, we can go back to this our contacts page, or we can go back to our Facebook page, and um, let's say we click on our Facebook page, but you don't want to go back to activities and go back to that screen what you can do is click control alt and then the arrow keys you can hit down that will take you to your contacts and then you can hit down again and it'll take you to your pictures so that's kind of a neat way to uh, save time instead of going back to the activities and going back to that page so and that was control alt and uh, the arrow keys so we can go up or down. Okay, 
and let's say we want to open our files because we want to uh, create a document or search for a document. What you can do, I um, I already created a document called doc1. You can search for that and there it is. And double click on that and this is a document. And instead of using Word, we're using Get It. So, um, and it has all the main features of Word. It has file, edit, um, print. You know, you can do just about everything you can do in Word on Get It. Okay, and to exit out of this, click the little X. And let's say you want to search for a different file. I created a file called Resume. So let's search for that, and there it is. And you can double click on that to open it. Okay, and let's say you want to go back to your main page so you can view everything, see what you have open. Go back to, to activities. And let's say you have two screens open, but you don't really like that look. So what you can do is you click on this and drag it over and it will add it to your right hand side. So what we have open is our Facebook, our, our documents, our pictures, and also our contacts. And you can add however many screens you would like. But another thing you can do to save space is to, just to open something Say so you have, oops, let's say you want to click on your email. It's called Evolution. Wait for that to load and click back on Activities. And you have the dual screens. And now these screens won't be on every little screen you have on the right hand side. So the two will just be on your first screen up here at the top. That's, and that's kind of convenient. And let's say you want to add a web browser to this screen. You just drag. And there it is. Let's say you want to add another one. And it will add as many um, browsers as you would like or, or whatever you want to put on here. Now let's say you want to see what you can't really read what this is. You can scroll in say, oh, that's my Facebook page. And you can scroll back out. I'm just using my mouse for this. And you can scroll in for that and scroll back out if you want. And let's see. Now if you want to go back to your applications, just click on that. You can search for your games. Um, you can add solitaire to your favorites, just drag and uh, drag that there and it'll open up a, a solitaire game for you there. Let's say you want to exit out of that, just quit. Go back to your activities page and let's say you want to make um, this a separate screen for this. You just you click on that and drag it and it will show you all of the files you have open and so that is just a basic rundown of what you can of some basic things you can do in Fedora and thank you for watching